Hello. As it turns out, uh, the date is June 11th, 2024, and in less than an hour, we're going to be seeing the first footage of gameplay from Dragon Age The Veil Guard, which I have been waiting for for a very long time. And the screen is open right now on my side. I'm looking at Varric's beautiful, beautiful aged ass, and I just want to give him a little kiss on the nose. If he's romanceable, then maybe somewhere else, but that's, that's between us, I think, and Bianca. Okay, actually, I'm extremely very excited, and this is not a working, well, it's a working microphone, it just isn't plugged into anything. I just thought it'd be kind of, you know, feel like I was reporting on news or something if I had an extra visible microphone. My other one's right here, and you can't see it because it's ugly and I have a thing that I crochet um, for sound to make it sexier even though I actually have a windscreen. Anyway, that's not important because Dragon Age is... <sighs> it's coming out. It's finally, finally fucking coming out. And um, to say I am excited is both an overstatement and an understatement because I feel like it's not totally hitting me yet. Uh, but at the same time, these last couple of days, I have not felt this way in like... I guess years, like probably I had like, I don't know, I probably haven't felt like this since Last of Us Part 2 came out. Like when this comes out, I think I'm going to lose my fucking mind. I'm going to fall in love with multiple of the new companions who we have seen. I've also seen everybody bitching on the internet and I do not give a fuck about those opinions. Um, I'm sorry if you're not excited, if you should be, you know, excited about this. I would be extremely pissed off, I think, if, if what I'm seeing was not hitting. But it's hitting. It's hitting so hard. Okay, do I want maybe to go over companions? Do I want... No, I don't, because fuck that, and also we don't know that much. We know plenty, like we've seen a lot. They've been sharing so much stuff like on Twitter, and ah, I joined the Discord. I don't know if you know, there's a Discord now for Bioware. Um, they also listed all of the factions that I think we can probably join when you join the Discord. If you haven't seen that, go join. They'll ask you which are your favorite. And I'm pretty sure those are the things that we can be in the Veil Guard. So while we wait, I was thinking about streaming a playthrough of Inquisition at the very least, just because I have my canon playthrough, right? I have the one I'm going into the Veil Guard with. I know the world state. That's good. But my second playthrough, you know what I mean? I need just low approval with Solus, ideally. I want that for a second playthrough. I want to, I wanna fuck him up. You know, I love him, and so first, first time around, I'm gonna do everything I can to save that man. By the fucking way we got to learn yesterday in the fucking YouTube chat, apparently, that the Inquisitor is coming back. We will get to be making them immediately in the game, in Character Creator, unlike in Inquisition when Hawk just kind of pops up and it's like, hey, you wanna, you wanna figure this out? Um, I really, honestly, did not think they would let us get the Inquisitor at all. I, I, it was too much of a dream for me to imagine any kind of interaction with Solus and my Inquisitor. And honestly, if he kills her, I don't mind. It's fine. If Solus is fully evil, I'm proven wrong about everything I thought and believed about this man, that is fine. That might even be better. That that, that might be like the sexiest thing, you know? If, if he shows up and it's like, oh, yay, my bald friend, my big bald lover, you know, my big wolf boy, sexy little goblin man. If he comes up, stabs the Inquisitor in the back, takes out a gun. <laughs> shoots the oh yeah rook that's our character rook is our person if he pulls out a gun it's like fuck you rook i just kill the inquisitor now i'm gonna kill you too and all your friends that'd be great i'm in love with the idea of a little bit of drama if solace is just a dirty bad evil little god man i'm cool with it and yeah i i genuinely do kind of feel like anything that happens I don't care. Like, I just want to play the game. I want this game. I want to know this world. I want all the lore pumped directly into my veins. I need so badly to brush up on my lore. I am so rusty with my knowledge. I, I'm Jon Snow. Wrong uh, IP, but you know, 
I know nothing. I'm, I'm, yeah. I don't know if I have anything else to say before it starts. Oh, I want to kiss Lucanus Emmerich, uh, um, is it Nev or Neve? I don't remember right now. I want to kiss her too. And I want to kiss, um, Tash, Tosh, Tash, it's Tash. I want to kiss her or them, depending on Twitter who you ask, because some people think they might be, um, non-binary, which is cool if that's the case. Because then it's, you know, three men, three women you can romance, and then a non-binary person, and that'd be cool. I'm cool with it. I like the idea. I don't know if it's true. Maybe we'll find out today. Maybe we won't. I think that's it. I think I'm gonna stop recording now, and I will come back when the gameplay is about to start, and I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna fucking vomit. I'm so excited. If you comment down below and you say something ignorant or foolish, like, stop being excited. This game's gonna suck. It's garbage. First of all, do you not understand that all Dragon Age games are garbage, and that's why I love them? Okay, that's, that's first. That's first. They're trash. They're, they're silly. They're fun. They're ridiculous. Sometimes you cry. Sometimes there's sad stuff. Sometimes there's crazy stuff and drama. But sometimes it's just fun. And that's okay. It's good. It's... Right now, the world needs fun. Yeah. I'm gonna stick to that line. Uh, huh. Yeah. Actually, I don't care. Comment mean things to me. Say I'm an idiot. I'm awesome. Wow. Ha <laughs> ha! Shit! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! New music. <gasps> ah! <sighs> Fuck! Okay. Okay. <sighs> yeah, bitch, I know. <laughs> Software and development takes place very early in the game. It has been edited for brevity and avoid any major spoilers. Awesome. It looks. Nev. Okay. So they did show this yesterday on Twitter. This little opening. This is what I'm expect. The little interact button I'm excited for. Okay. Okay. Shh. Look at the clothes. Look at the cape. Rook, level one rogue backstory, Shadow Dragon's custom appearance. Sick. Thank you for telling us. Look at the, um, plants. Okay. Ah! Cops? Mage? Is that the circle? That's what I read y yesterday, or heard somewhere. Is that the... No. So the bar scene's actually in the game, maybe. That's cool. She has very nice hair. Ah! Uh, Siri, be quiet. Thank you, Solus. What is that? A demon of some kind? It kind of reminded me of a werewolf in movement. No, he wouldn't. Fuck yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's go! I knew that was a fucking tear in the veil! Sorry! I don't think it's gonna be bad at all. Ooh! Hey, baby girl! Oh my god, look at the fucking hair! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Look at that. Hi, sexy. I love you. Wow. Do you think we're gonna see him? Solus? <gasps> Hell yeah! Do they all have- yeah? Do they all have context of what the fuck I'm actually saying? Cause that'd be nice. Poor guy needs new clothes. Thank you. Is that a backpack? Oh. He changed. I want to hear the female uh, Rook voice also. Please. 
Like, it's new demons, okay. Um... Okay, so you can control Harding, you can tell at the bottom center with the arrows, I think. That's her, I guess. I hope that's not the only thing she does. Like, you know, I hope there's... She's also, you know, doing it on her own, but we'll see. Um... I want to know what the buttons are. Oh, rats. Hell yeah, brother. No. So are we gonna interrupt his ritual and steal his little blade? Because there's the image of Solus with it doing a ritual, and then there's one where it looks like Rook has it. So I'm wondering if we actually might get to see that today. Would be, or it'll stop right before, like we'll see Solus for half a second maybe. I wish they, uh, I wish they were talking over it a little bit to be like, this is what he's doing, I guess, because it's just a fighty thing, which is fine. I just wish we knew what the, uh, was, you know, happening. <laughs> like, show me the controller. What are the buttons? This is cool. Hell yeah, brother. Who are you? Who are you? Are you elves? Are you elves? Ah! You see really, really positive. Okay. Sick. Oh, there we go. Buttons. <laughs> Tell us who these motherfuckers are, actually. Tell me if they're elves. Come on. Benatori. Okay, that's why they look like shoot. Just kidding. I just didn't think Solus would have his people dressed like that, so. Hell yeah? No? Maybe? Oh. That's gonna... Holy shit. Take some getting used to. Hi, baby. Pretty girl. Beautiful woman. I'm gonna kiss you. Who's her voice actor? Lol. Okay, Solus part two. I'm scared it's gonna end before anything happens. My man. This is cool, uh, just seeing this city. Min min oh no! Okay, okay, okay. So you escape city, uh-huh. They stepped through the gate! Hell yeah, let's go, brother! Let's fucking go! Let me, oh my god, oh my god. Please show him, please show him. Oh my... Oh my god. Jeez. Where's my boa? He's gotta succeed, right? He's gonna, or at least, I guess he's gonna have to succeed enough in the beginning to let out the two gods. I hope there's like a second kind of whole game sort of trailer after this that actually does a story instead of just companions the other day. That, you know, you know, can, okay. I don't, I don't want to watch the fighting. I want to go <laughs> that way. He's right there. He's just right there. He's so close. Yeah, run a little faster, honestly. Okay, the team battles their way deeper into Arlefin... <laughs> Arlefin until they arrive at Solus' ritual site. So, you know, please. Oh my god. Hello? Okay, that's fine. He's just a little guy. We will is used to command... Okay, sick. At this early point in the game, so it's gonna change. Hell yeah. I need to know so many things about just this area in the game. Uh, give me lore. All the little symbol heads, this is the Evander, it's all these motherfuckers over here. Oh, you can't see that. Over, you know, behind here, behind all the action. I see Solus, I see Solus, I see him, 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 he's right there. Go back, go back, turn around, turn around. He's right there, oh my God, my little boy, my baby boy, my beautiful man. I'm gonna smack you real hard. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's gonna happen. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna kill the demon so I can see my man. I'm excited to have my hands on it so I can actually understand the combat because I don't yet. <laughs> ah! 
Don't look mean. Be happy. He's a nice guy. He just needs. To oh my God! There he is. There he is. There's his all. Oh. It looks so good. Is he gonna look good? I hope. Don't you dare! Don't you dare end. I think they said it was 25 minutes total. Um, so I think it's gonna go to 11:30 because they're a little late. I'll take it from here. I think, I think, I think, <laughs> I hope. Oh, sure. Positive. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Good guy, Varric. So is this he's gonna kill him. Just because an old friend asks nicely? I already Something thought he was gonna die, but... To sell him another option, if he does this... Him justify changing his mind. Huh. Huh. Come on, Varric. We didn't come all this way just to talk to him. He was my friend, Rook. I gotta try to reach him. If, if Solus kills Farrick immediately. From Bianca. Like, can you imagine? I can. Come on. Show it. Gather the team for me. Farrick. Oh my god, Varric. He might not kill him, he might just kidnap him. Because it would be a lot to kill Varric. Hey, Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. God, is he is he blighted? 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 He looks good. Uh, don't look at him like that, you bitch. <laughs> you don't look in love like my man for you to look at my uh, other man like that. Let's buy him some time. Oh no, I don't want to buy him time. I want to go there. <laughs> help! 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 Or I can. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm not loving the look of Solus, to be honest. But that was the first glimpse of him in game. That wasn't a weird trailer. I need more, but ah, he's looking at him while he's still. Inflicted upon this world, it must be healed. By drowning the world in demons? I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize the... People are dying right now. You need to listen. Purple eyes. Please. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, okay. You hurt Bianca? No! Oh my god, he killed Bianca! Always dying. It is what they do. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! That is what people do, actually. A lot. It's fucked up. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shit? I can't believe he broke okay. Bianca. That's actually crazy. <laughs> what if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we bro And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them It's off. our fault. It's our fault! You two stay here. It's our I'll fault. <laughs> no. The demons Step or gods the coming out is, is our fault. The storm could tear you apart. And we're probably gonna get Harding hurt. And maybe Varric, everybody here. We're gonna get everybody hurt. Fine. <laughs> you'll need back up. Right, right, I'm right. With you, with the demons. Okay. Well fuck me. Let's go, honey. Nev, keep the demons off us. You got it. Early pop. Hell yeah. Ooh. This is fucking cool, actually. Thank you. Am I supposed to be able to hear that? He's... Is he talking about... Oh, I'm not... Okay. What if he dies? What if Solus dies in the beginning? <laughs> I would end it. Just kidding. Why? Why tear down the veil? Bitch, you know why. Lives it'll cost. We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but it isn't falling. We need to push it. I'm with you. Oh fuck. Together. No! 
music good. Good to know, just kidding. <laughs> oh boy. Please don't kill my man. Please don't. Please don't. Can you imagine? <laughs> Maybe he gets hurt and then we get to take care of him. That would be good. That would be nice. I would like that, actually. Save my man! Fine. Do it, do it. Pull them out. Pull everything and go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I cannot believe they're showing us this. Ah. Okay, give me, um, just still fall. Just still fall. Really? Just fall? Just fall? Just fall? So that was the gameplay. And. They showed so much more than I was expecting. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't even... I, I need I need um, a pre-order to open. There's a possibility that the end of that is him getting snatched up by evil fucking elven gods who hate his guts. And then we might have to rescue Solus at some point, which is a really interesting conundrum <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes, I'm watching it in. Oops. Um, how do I... Shit. There you go. Look at... Look at them. Look at it all. Look. See what I mean? Ah! Like, hello? Hello? Look at these motherfuck... You can't see that, can you? Yes, you can see it on both sides. Okay. Hey, little, uh, god. Hey, other god. Hey, little skinny little baby god boy who's about to get... Who knows, but... Are we gonna, uh, yeah, he's getting sucked in or something. That, maybe, I mean. <laughs> Introducing the Veil Guard. Okay, welcome back to Thetis. Thank you very much, Bioware. I've missed my time here quite a bit. All right, hey everyone, it's been too long since we last spoke. We're happy to bring back our community blog series where we can chat with you about our next adventure, Dragon Age the Veil Guard. If you're joining us just now, earlier this week we released a blog detailing how we renamed the game to better represent what makes it special. It's about you and your companions, not your enemies, that are at the heart of this new experience. Check out alongside our official reveal trailer, oh, check that out, alongside our official reveal trailer, which premiered on the Xbox Showcase, blah blah blah. Okay, Discord server, we know, uh, that's not at all, blog game pay reveal, we know, we know, we know, okay, are you the hero's data needs? Probably not, I'm probably the worst person to uh, put in charge of any of this, but hey. That's okay. So also like me. Oh, look at her long ass hair. Oh, I'm very excited to see the character creator. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This video from the first moments of the game is just the tip of the iceberg and there's so much more to discover on this epic journey. You'll explore Thetis, uniting a cast of, yes, romanceable companions as you fight against ancient elven gods. <laughs> okay. In this crafted, character-driven RPG, you'll visit meticulously crafted biomes and beautiful regions, some that you've only heard whispers about in Dragon Age lore, including Ravain, Weishaupt, Arlathon, Minrathis, and the Deep Roads, to name a few. We'll have a lot more coming this summer as we fully detail what's in store. You'll begin by diving into the character creator. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you'll choose your class, lineage, gender, overall appearance, and more. Choosing which faction Brook is a part of will unlock different narrative dialogue. <laughs> Sorry, my mouth is getting fucked up. Dialogue and gameplay interactions. Combat is another area that has a lot of depth to it, both in how you choose to defeat your enemies and its progression throughout the game. The game will support various skill levels, but at its core, Dragon Age the Veilguard has fluid moment-to-moment -moment combat where you can choose between three classes, warrior, major, rogue. Okay, good to know. Good, good. Okay, because it seemed like confusing about what we were able to do. Okay, um, each having their own advanced specializations. There's also a layer of tactical depth for those who want to dig in. I do not, I never do, um, which we really didn't get to cover in the video. Our next customizable ability wheel will help you turn the tide of battle at any time. It will allow you to pause the action, issue commands to your followers, use abilities, and unleash devastating combos. As you become more powerful, you can start to see the potential in how much fun and hectic things can get. Again, look at her motherfucking hair. Look at the capes. They did, like, totally give us things that people have been begging for, so that's awesome. Um, we're also giving the option to use some of your available... Uh, 
some of your abilities via a shortcut. Giving you these kinds of options is something we thought a lot about and wanted to provide so you can find the playstyle that best fits you. All right, that's it for now. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> as we'll dive deeper into this and all things Dragon Age Veilguard through the fall. Through the fall. Through the fall. You better... I know the Game Informer article has information about character creator uh, and other things, so hopefully it's not just the fall that we're getting information. Um, and yeah, if you look at this, what is June 11th? That's today. Summer Games Best First Impressions. I guess that's people who uh, actually got to play the game, I think, over the weekend. Uh, Discord developer Q&A, that is in a couple of days. June 18th is the Game Informer cover story, and I have that coming, so that'll be fun and exciting to look through. Before we go, if you haven't seen this yet, we wanted to provide an overview of what we have upcoming. As we said earlier, we plan to continue revealing more about Dragon Age the Veil Guard and answer your burning questions. However, there will be some things we have to keep close to the chest as we get closer to launch. Good. I don't want everything spoiled. Thank you very much. Uh, remember to join the custom console giveaway I did <laughs> before entries close on June 16th. And set a reminder for our developer Discord Q&A on June 14th at 10 a.m. Is that Pacific time? I don't live there. Uh, submit your questions in the Ask Bioware channel on the server. Dragon Age Veilguard is coming to PC, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5 in fall 2024. That's all for now. Talk soon, the Dragon Age community team. Look at this man. Look at that man. Who is that? Yeah, it's going to take getting used to the new style, specifically with Solus. I'm loving Varric and Harding's look. Solus is a little bald, you know? He's kind of... His face was made for the Inquisition look, I think. So yeah, it's going to take me a minute to adjust to his new vibe he's got going on. Also, he's changed though. I mean, maybe I should watch all of his scenes again. I love that his eyes are purple, by the way. What the fuck? And I think it's so adorable that he's like, nah, I won't hurt Varric. <laughs> but I'll fucking kill your weapon, dude, that you're in love with. Um. Aw, Varric's losing faith. He's going to get blighted by the other gods when he accidentally frees them. And maybe, maybe we can help him, but I don't know. The story does not end with my downfall. It might. It might. <laughs> right, so we have two options <laughs> after this. Either... He gets taken with them. We, we try and save him or he gets corrupted and dies, yada yada. Holy fuck. They look like I want to see more. <laughs> um, or he gets killed immediately. That's also an option. I hope that doesn't happen. I really think it would be so fucking cool if Solus winds up being either a secret companion we can recruit for reasons. Or... He's just like an advisor after this happens and he fucks up and maybe he feels a little remorseful and maybe he's like, oh my god, this is way more important than the veil now. We gotta take these motherfuckers out because they're gonna destroy the world for real, for real. Not like me. I mean, maybe I'm gonna still try and tear the veil down after this too. Also, maybe we'll see. But <laughs> anyway, I think I think that's gonna be it for today because I need to, to scroll through Twitter for the rest of, I guess, summer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dragon Age. How about that? How about 